Hey everybody, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whatever time of day you're watching today, Sasha here. And today is Thursday. So, it's an episode of Thirsty Thursday and we are also in day 7 of the month of matcha. So folks, how you been hanging in there? Hopefully you are doing alright. So, I have this um, set up because I wanted to show this two-parter for today's video because you know we're working with matcha and usually Thirsty Thursdays I don't always dedicate to drinks I, in fact I just have other drinks but because I wanted to kind of integrate the two concepts today today is a matcha based drink or a matcha infused drink rather so today we are mixing up matcha limeade and for those of you that may not know I did matcha lemonade with um, the month of iced tea last year so I wanted to try this concoction because limeade is something that you know we don't really hear about it's lemonade is a strange sibling but I figured to give this a try because why not so to my left or to our left right here I have a 32 ounce pitcher or not pitcher good lord it's a mason jar y'all but holds four glasses of water or four glasses of liquid next love this stuff if you don't if you didn't know this is true lime it's crystallized lime uh, I believe it's crystallized lime zest but zero calories zero sugar unsweetened you can make um, your lime drinks lime based drinks with this product like y'all know before, they also have true orange, true lemon, true grapefruit, and true lime as the unsweetened variety. Next, I brewed up some matcha. This is matcha matsu, and I let it sit on the counter to get to room temp, which is going to be interesting. So... Y'all forgive me, we're doing some work in the house, and you're just going to hear a lot of beeping and whatnot in the background, so I apologize up front. Okay, so, usually when I do my fasting limeade, this whole thing would be filled up with water, and all I would do is put... Four packets of the true lime into the mason jar along with oh and I failed to mention good old stevia great value liquid stevia put a couple squirts in and you have fasting okay limeade but I'm gonna take that up a notch and make it a matcha limeade so I, here I have the matcha. I'm just going to pour in until it gets to the bottom of the lid. However many fluid ounces that may be. So you see there? It's like really dilute matcha. So now, unfortunately, I don't have my tripod handy, so I'm going to have to jump cut but i'll explain what i'm doing i'm gonna add four packets of lime true lime to the mason jar okay so as you see right here these are the four packets of true lime that i put into the um matcha limeade i will say i you know, pull this one out from the container. I hate that sometimes, this is a little pet peeve of mine, y'all. 
but I hate that sometimes, I don't know if y'all could hear that instead of, we can't hear anything. This is a evidence that this, like sometimes the line packets solidify and cake up. So that's what, um, okay, sorry about that y'all. My camera kind of goes on the fritz. But with some of these packets, like the packets of True Lime, they solidify, but they also have um, like a bulk loose powder that, again, it may be more effective, but it may not be because, you know, the loose powder may clump up as well. So, I mean, it's just a little... I don't know. Sometimes I just throw these away because it's very hard to dissolve this. And then um, you can also see the back, y'all. But this is what True Lime is made of. But, you know, when I use this or um, the seasonings, they do have a tendency to cake up a lot easier. But packets are in. So, like I said, I use four of the packets because this is 32 ounces. So, one packet per eight ounces. Now, I'm going to use the Stevia. About two squirts is good enough for me. You can make it as sweet or not as sweet as you want to. But I find that two squirts from the liquid Stevia is plenty good enough for me. So, y'all, that is the somewhat finished product. I'm just going to give it a stir, make sure everything's incorporated, and then I'm going to turn this bad boy around so y'all can see me try it out. Alrighty, folks, so here we go. I have the product ready to be tested. So, hopefully, the Stevia has permeated the whole entire mug by now um sorry y'all I'm like fixing my hair Whew. so hopefully the stevia has permeated like I said I usually find two squirts of the stevia liquid stevia to be enough um but let's give this a try just gonna stir it up Still tastes like my fasting ma uh, fasting matcha, my fasting limeade, but I get the hint of matcha. I used I should have mentioned this while I was holding up the matcha, um, the prepared matcha, that I used five matcha spoons for, and then I filled it up all the way to the top. So. I didn't want the matcha to be too, too strong, if y'all get what I mean, because, um, uh oh, sorry, y'all, because if I did, you know, I would have been like, oh, this tastes like just matcha, and the limeade doesn't come through. All in all, y'all, I mean, maybe it could be a bit more sweet, but I don't want to add the stevia and like chance of ruining it. So, yeah, I think I'll just leave it as like two squirts. And again, y'all, I apologize for the background noise. Like I said, work's being done on the house. So, you know, gonna get a lot of background noise. And I have the door closed, the door in my room closed, but you could probably still hear that. So let me give my verdict on homemade matcha limeade. So in the case of my homemade matcha limeade, I'm actually going to say out of my rating scale of good, okay, bad, I would give this an okay. And I know, I know, you know, 
like I made it by hand and it tastes all right. But I would want more of the lime to come out. So I think in this case, like if I did the regular, if I didn't add the matcha, you know, this would taste like straight up limeade and pretty good. But the matcha is kind of, it's masking the flavor, masking the limeade. So maybe I should have make, dialed it back some. Like I used a regular matcha drinks worth of matcha. So I didn't like double up or anything. But I didn't, like I thought, like I really want the limeade to come out. And there to be a hint of matcha. Similar to how um, Starbucks makes their matcha lemonade. And if you want to check out that video, I tried to replicate my um, my version of it. But, you know, my proportions were off in that video too. But I do like the concept of matcha limeade or matcha lemonade. It's just that I would have to tweak the recipe a little bit more so I can make the limeade flavor burst versus it kind of paling in comparison to the matcha. But I mean, hey, I still like it. <laughs> Alrighty, folks, so that's going to do it for this episode of Thirsty Thursdays and day seven of Month of Matcha. I will see you all tomorrow for day eight of month of matcha and what else did i want to tell y'all i will try i know i said in the announcement video that i may may not be able to do all 31 days but i'm gonna try to go for it y'all i'm gonna try to do all 31 days um you know it's just that i'm not gonna have a outside of monday through thursday like friday saturday sunday those videos are going to be kind of hodgepodge sort of deals. So I don't know what I'll do for, like, say tomorrow and Saturday, Sunday. I kind of don't want to, I don't want it to be too monotone, but I don't know. I fear as though it might get too boring. So it's like, what's the point of doing a month of matcha when, um, you know, you're just tasting tea each day instead of making it a new you know, type of project or whatever. So, yeah, I'm gonna cut it off there before I, like, get to rambling and talking about my channel. But, again, thank you all for tuning in. Any questions, comments, suggestions, or small talk, don't be a stranger. Leave it in my comment section below. Any and all are welcome. Greatly appreciated. Love reading your comments, seeing what you have to say. Um... You know, I really enjoy, like, the back and forth some of, you know, y'all and I go through. And, you know, just keep it coming. Keep it coming. I really appreciate it. And until tomorrow, y'all, make it a great day today and every day. And, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye now.